what we consider to be the jewel, if you will, of our collection. This is a 1945 uh, Handley Page Halifax Mark 7 bomber. We recovered it uh, from uh, Fjord in Norway in 1995, brought it back here to Trenton, and spent 10 years restoring it to the condition it's in today. Well, it's important not just for the museum, but really for Canada. The majority of air crew, almost 75% of all the air crew who flew in bomber command during the Second World War, flew in the Halifax bomber. So this is an important, uh, iconic representation of our commitment to the Commonwealth Air Forces during the Second World War. Uh, more, as I said, more air crew in the Halifax than the Lancaster. I don't want to take anything away from the Lancaster when I say that. That was a very important aircraft as well. However, Canadians can associate themselves more with the Halifax bomber. The aircraft presently is priceless. Uh, there is no way to even guess at the value of the aircraft. Uh, certainly we put many, many thousands of man hours into it, mostly all volunteer. Much of the funding necessary to put it together in the state it's in you see today was volunteer donations from a variety of organizations and individuals, the majority of which came from an organization called the Halifax Aircraft Society, which was formed back in 1995, recently disbanded, but uh, probably uh, arranged uh, donations in the order of $4 million by the time they were all finished in order to get the aircraft where it is today. I'm very, very proud to be part of this museum and have the opportunity to talk about this bomber and to describe the story that it represents. Of course, this is the National Air Force Museum and it's our mandate to tell the complete 100 year story of the RCAF. Uh, the Halifax Bomber Command, six bomber group forms part of that 100 year story. And certainly having this iconic example uh, to tell, to assist us in telling that story is very important.